Folks, welcome back to Good Works Tractors. Today we are out at the new warehouse. We're coming along, right? We don't have everything set up the way we want, but we're getting close to it. I think it's a good time to show you all the tractor attachments that we have for sale. So if you're looking for some ideas for a project that you have in mind, maybe you're gonna see the tool here that's gonna get the job done for you. So we're gonna take you on a tour of the whole place, show you everything that we have here right now. And if you do see that attachment that you want, you're probably wondering, how do I get that? Well, guess what? We ship all over the country. So go to goodworkstractors.com, check us out. We're happy to help. Alrighty folks, so we'll start right outside. You're gonna see a lot of stuff all over the place. We just got racking put inside, you know, the stuff that you can stack things three, four shelves high. So we're gonna be loading that up this week. We just moved into this warehouse a couple months ago. So we're getting a lot of things kind of situated the way that we want. All these crates that you see out here, we've got another, oh, I think it was 50 crates coming soon. These are all suitcase weights, all right? There's some wheel weights mixed in here as well, but we're pretty big on safety around here. We, we sell a Versa bracket bundle so you can get a weight bracket and then suitcase weights to put on there. Put that in the back side of your tractor. So if you're using your front end loader with the bucket, a grapple, forks, whatever else, you're gonna have weight on the back side to kind of balance you out and stabilize you. Alrighty, so this is kind of the pallet fork area, although there are uh, some pallets of pallet forks spread around that I see too, but you're gonna see three different frame sizes now. These are all the John Deere version, but we can get them for skid steer quick attach, global, custom mounts, that kind of thing too. But you have our lightweights, our standard duties, our heavy duty forks. So you're gonna have all sorts of options there. Again, they're one of the most popular things that we sell. Nobody ever regrets getting a set of pallet forks. We just got these in right here and they, they probably don't look like much, but I wanna mention it. And so these are for the Dirt Dog Rotary Tiller. So 60, 72, 84 inch tillers that we carry. And this is a, a, a front screen or a front shroud because what I found out, and we'll show you in a video sometime soon, is that you can take the standard forward rotation tillers and you can convert those to a reverse rotation tiller if you want to by just changing some gearing inside the gearbox and adding one of these um, shrouds to the front of your tiller. So wanna make sure I mention that. I just got these in, we'll tackle that soon. Right down here is just a small portion. We actually still have stuff over at our other location, but this is a hard plastic called UHMW. We use it for snow removal equipment all the time, a really popular seller. So uh, if you have a, a concrete or an asphalt surface that you're plowing, this is gonna be very safe on there, but also scrape really well. And, and these are actually UHMW skid runners that we sell for our snow pushers too. So this here is our small package packing room, all right? So we're also gonna put uh, Spico quick hitches on all of these racks here. We have 300 more coming in on Monday and you're gonna see red Spicos, you'll see black Spicos, you know, for Cat 1, Cat 2, all around the place right now, but a very popular seller, our number one selling attachment that we have. But gonna put everything in here. We bought a special uh, forklift, you can see it over here, called a Big Joe, just to be able to kind of navigate this small room here, take advantage of the storage space that we have. But we're still getting set up, gonna get a foam packing station. Uh, this is actually a, a paper coil making machine here too. So we're experimenting with all sorts of different ways, have different custom boxes that are coming in all the time too. So we're having a lot of fun out here, trying to make the most cost effective and well, the best way to ship product out to you guys. And these cardboard boxes actually contain dethatchers in them. So we've talked about the dethatcher a lot, really popular item. This is how they come into us right from CMP and this is how they ship out. So these are very easy, just ready to go. We slap a label on them, but you can see this only weighs 50 pounds, right? So it's not very heavy. It'll fit, if you want to come pick it up, it'll fit right in your truck bed and your, in your backseat of your car, whatever you have, but um, they're gonna drop these off UPS ground, just the brown box trucks. Same thing with the Spico, same things with the mini stump wreckers. Uh, if you buy a Versa bracket, all sorts of smaller items can ship UPS ground right to your house. Hopefully you can see it, have a couple piles of rear blades have a section here and then uh, some green and orange ones back that way as well. So these are a three point attachment. Again, you've got rear blades, box blades, land planes. You're gonna see them all today in our inventory overview. We've got to do a comparison, comparing all these tools uh, side by side by side. And we'll do that at some point, but there's a tool for everybody. A rear blade is a good choice. Alrighty folks, so here's a good look at kind of the back, what is this? The northeast section of the warehouse and you can see why we don't have everything racked. Some of this equipment is just not very rackable, but we're gonna figure out a way because all of this dead space above me is driving me nuts. So we'll, we'll figure out something. But what you see, these long rows in front of me that I'm touching right next to it and, and right over here, these are gonna be land planes. These are one of my favorite tools. Um, 
I think impossible to beat as far as driveway maintenance goes for like a gravel driveway. But you know, we have 48s, 60s, I think those are 72s. We've got 84s and 96s around here as well. So all sorts of sizes. Kind of in front over there next to the uh, land planes are gonna be a couple rows of box blades. And you're gonna see others that are kind of scattered throughout right now as well. A really good all purpose tool for moving soil. So you could grade your driveway, but if you have, if you have landscape work to do, um, you know, when you have to move large amounts of material from point A to point B, that can be a great tool for that. You'll see some all-purpose plows. We have a few up top and a few down here. Ultratech trailers kind of in some big boxes along the wall. Some more standing upright up there on the mezzanine. Uh, I think behind Chris, we've got a few sprayers from Ag Spray. We have some Rami UTV stuff. We got to do some videos on that too. Rami is a, a Finnish company. So Messa Machines is going to be the, uh, the U.S. distributor. That's who uh, we're a dealer with and a partner with for the Ultratech trailers, for the Rami uh, UTV attachments, and then for the Yapa firewood processors. So really cool stuff. Bob up there at Metsa Machines has the answer for everything. He is just a guru when it comes to all of his product lines. So I lean on him a lot for support. Yeah. Uh, a few other things to show you too. Right behind me is just a small portion of the core plug aerators that we have. Uh, that season's coming up really soon, so you guys want to get these 48s, 60s, 72s that we have. I think these are one of the be better values that's on the market today by far. Uh, some landscape rakes back there. Again, it, most all this stuff comes in like 48, 60, 72. Some of it in 84, 96 as well. Uh, these crates here have some brush crushers in them. There's something really cool I'll have Chris come down to and take a look um, right next to these subsoilers, but we have a John Deere quick attach to skid steer quick attach adapter. A lot of you guys are asking for that. So if you have a John Deere tractor, but you wanna use your buddy's skid steer quick attach um, attachments, well, this will help you get that done. I got to show you a few cool things that we have around here too. The guys found this on Amazon, so I ordered it up and they absolutely love it. It's just a floor sweeper, right? Instead of pushing a broom, this thing, you just push it along manually, really easy to do. Collects all the dust and everything that builds up on the ground. Just has a, a hopper here, collects it, you toss it out. Got another broom underneath as well, but uh, a really simple design. But they loved it so much, they said they're gonna get one for their barns at home too. So anyway, I figured I'd show you. And I figured I'd show you the forklift that we have here. Now this is an electric forklift. I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but we have this big old charger on the wall. I will tell you the first time I went to use it, I thought I broke it because it's virtually silent, which is really cool. If you've used a, a traditional propane or LP forklift, uh, they're pretty noisy, right? They're not terrible, especially uh, the newer ones. They're, they're quite a bit quieter than the ones I'm used to that I used a long time ago, but uh, this is really nice to have. So both this machine and that Big Joe well, this one requires this big old fancy charger here. Uh, you have to fill this up all the time with, with uh, distilled water, that kind of thing too. Some, some more maintenance involved, but the Big Joe we showed you earlier, you just plug that sucker right into a, a wall outlet, charge it up, but this is a pretty cool concept. I'm pretty excited about it. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. I almost went right by these. Uh, these are actually three-point colta packers, all right? So for uh, food plots, if you're gonna do a lawn, actually, it's it, redo a lawn. This is a good tool for that too. Um, didn't order heavy on those this year. I wasn't really sure what the response would be like. So if you want something for next year, let me know late summer, fall, sometime in that range, and I can uh, start to put together a bigger order for next spring. Okay, so this is the main area that we had racked. And so, you know, by next weekend, a week from now, this is gonna be fully filled out and behind the camera there along that wall, we're gonna have some more racking put up there. So we're gonna finish this up, but right now we'll show you all the stuff's outside that's or a lot of it, that's gonna go on these shelves here and then um, more behind you as well too, but we're pretty excited. You can see we've got grapples, you know, four tiers of grapples there and we're gonna kind of fill it out and try to, I don't know, it's, it's gonna change over time, right? Probably seasonally as well, you know, as we stock up for spring stuff versus winter stuff. Um, and I don't know, it's fun to figure out though. Okay, so here is kind of our tower of tillers as I like to call it. So. Uh, we just got in a bunch more, I, th Man, I can't remember, maybe they're outside, there's somewhere around here. But um, these are dirt dog tillers, all right? So 60, 72, 84 inch. We have a few green left in 72. 
Other than that, we're switching over to gray. This is a really nice gray color. I like it a lot, but neutral. We talked about the importance of paint colors recently, so if you haven't seen that video, we'll tell you more about paint. We still have some flail mowers left here as well. I think there's a few more somewhere else around here. And then our 48 inch tillers are gonna be from Ideal over on the end. Uh, just got in this pull type box blade here as well, all right, for ATVs, UTVs. Has an electric actuator on there. So we got to do a video on this at some point too. This here is from Northwoods Fabrication. So um, he came up with a really cool design that, that works for those you know, UTVs and the ATVs. So we're gonna try that out. Uh, right here underneath these uh, PTO shafts, you can see, well, you can see the slip clutches on there for PTO shafts, but these are gonna be uh, bale spears. We can get those for John Deere Quick Attach, Skid Steer Quick Attach, and Global Quick Attach. All right, so outside in this corner right now, we've got a few brush crusher, the, the bigger, beefier ones, the BC4255, that's what you see here. Uh, a couple snow blowers, some um, MK Martin rotary cutters. In this corner here, you're gonna see, well, some grading tools, mainly pulverizers, a few rear blades sprinkled in, uh, a rollover box blade. I still haven't used one of those. I'd like to get some feedback from someone who has, if it's a worthwhile tool or not. I'm just realizing, you may be wondering where all the employees are at, and it's a Saturday morning. We came out here about 7.30 or so just to shoot this when we're closed on weekends, so when, when nobody's here, just to make it a little bit less chaotic. <laughs> so anyway, let's continue on, but uh, more of our pluggers here. You're gonna see the, a lot of the 72 inch and the 60 inch pluggers. Out in the weeds right now, we have some discs out there. Uh, more landscape rakes. You can see how a lot of the rotary cutters come in vertical like that. So sometimes we'll ship them out vertical, but they come in in pairs, right? There, you can see more sets of them down here. And so we'll take one off, lay that down on a skid and ship it out and ship the other one that's on the frame still uh, with all the bracing underneath it, we'll just ship that vertical. You'll still see some snow pushers. We do have a handful right now and we have hundreds of them. HLA said that they're just about ready to ship out to us, but um, we just need to get things organized before they come in. So we'll probably have those sometime in July. So um, we're gonna have plenty, you know, to start shipping out prior to winter coming and snow flying, hopefully. So uh, here you're gonna see more of the mini grapples. These are one of the more popular grapples that we sell, the work saver. Black is gonna be for Skid Steer Quick Attach, green for John Deere Quick Attach. You're gonna have either a electric version, which is all self-contained, includes the wiring harness, the control, something you can do yourself. You don't have to go to a dealer to do anything. Otherwise, there is a hydraulic version as well, so it has a hydraulic cylinder on there. It does require a third function or diverter. We've talked all about that too, but you have a lot of options available. Over here, you can see a bunch more Speakos that we have, and anytime you see these crates like this, um, they're gonna be chippers or chipper shredders, you know, from Wallenstein. So you'll see a lot of options there. Those are PTO three point mount units. So we've done a video comparison uh, overview on some of those too. And it dawned on me, this might be something new for you guys, but you can kind of see here how different equipment comes into us, all right? And how different manufacturers package equipment for transport, you know, like these big flail mowers. These are the big Centurion mowers. These are two, <coughs> sorry, two on a steel frame. Here's one, we already took one off of here, but these come all the way over from Italy, right? So they're, they're over there, they put them on a big cargo container on a ship, transport them, and then they, they move, you know, along dry ground all the way to us. And so these things are very heavy. They're a two man job all day to uh, to take one of these off and set it down on a pallet and prep it to ship. So some of these attachments are really labor intensive for us to ship back out. You have other attachments, kind of like tillers here where they're sweet. They come in on these little metal crate, crates, very little preps required to send them back out. Same thing like with those wood chippers we were talking about. Really depends on the attachment. We love the stuff that's kind of pre-packed and ready to go. But a lot of the other items, you know, uh, pluggers, lampanes, pallet forks, you know, all sorts of stuff. We do have to palletize ourselves, which is why you see all these pallets out here to prep it to ship out to you. So a little over a year ago, we bought this Manitou telehandler. Um, at that, it's, it's crazy how things change in, in a year's time. But uh, back then our, our plan was to move everything out to a big old barn and big old field and run our business out of there. And so I thought we'd have wide open spaces, um, you know, it was a big four wheel drive machine. I could use it for all sorts of different things and it just hasn't turned out that way. And, and, and honestly, we haven't used it all that much. I think there's, I don't know, 200 and some hours. I don't think there's 300 hours on this yet, just over a year old. So we're actually gonna be selling this machine and there's nothing wrong with it. It's an awesome, amazing machine, very capable. Um, we did a, a video overview all about it last year, but 
it's just not going to be a right fit for out here. You can't use this inside a warehouse. There's just no way to use it. That's what the forklift is for. And it's just way too expensive to have sitting around here not getting used like it should be. So unfortunately, this one's going to be sold. I know some of you guys had asked periodically over the last few months, what's up with the Manitou? What are you doing with it? Well, that's the scoop. Alrighty folks, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. We have three more semi loads of equipment coming in this week as well, so it's gonna keep on getting filled out. I wanna try to pave the rest of this grassy area around here, but I can't get a paving contractor this year. It, it'd have to be a next year thing. So I'm wondering if I can pack gravel enough to drive the forklift over or not. Um, I don't know if I can or not, but I may have to go that route. We could use, certainly use all the extra storage that's all the grassy area you see around here as well. We'll figure out something. But anyways, this gives you a pretty darn good look at what we have for sale. I think we covered everything, but if not, check out goodworkstractors.com. We've got a great website, and I think it's pretty good anyways. You can go on there, get all sorts of product features, pictures. Watch our other YouTube videos, all sorts of this stuff. We, we try it out, all right? We don't just sell it, we, we wanna try it out, learn how to use it if we don't know how to use it and, and show you the good and the bad. I'm not afraid to try new things and kinda of learn as I go because a lot of you guys are doing the same thing so it helps you shorten your learning curve and from time to time we're gonna pick up a new manufacturer and from time to time we're gonna drop a manufacturer but I am never okay being okay. I want things to constantly get better, you know? Whether that's the building, we're doing all sorts of improvements, painting things and seal coating and getting new lights and security cameras and fencing and you name it. Same thing with products. I, I want everything to be dialed in and we're gonna get there. We're gonna keep on getting better. So you know where to go for your tractor attachments. Again, we ship all over the country. If you enjoy tractor videos, we do a lot of project work with our tractor. So hit that subscribe button down below to tag along. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.